Hola. Me llamo Gregorio. That's my name in Spanish. Gregorio. It's pretty badass. Combines my two favorite things in life. Greg and Oreos. It's delicious. Sweet. I was in my car. A commercial came on for metal recycling. And they were like, we're your metal recycling resource. We give you money for your metal. Say habla espanol. Which is stupid, because if you only spoke Spanish, all you heard was blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we speak Spanish. <laughs> That could have been anything. <laughs> we are the Border Patrol. <laughs> we will deport you. <laughs> we speak Spanish. <laughs> I love my friends. I have the best friends in the world. They like me for me, but sometimes that messes up my life. So they'll call me up and be like, Hey, Greg, you want to go to the pool? I'll be like, Hell yeah, I want to go to the pool. I'm buoyant. <laughs> But they'll leave out that to get in this pool, there's like a seven foot fence I gotta climb. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am not much of a climber. <laughs> so when this happens, I believe there's a three step process that every fat person uses to get over the fence. And I'd like to accentuate the steps. So when I say step one, you guys yell step one back at me. We'll try it now. Step one. Step, step one. one. I check the fence for structural integrity. <laughs> You know, like a weak point a previous fat person maybe had left in there. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, it's on to step two. Step two! I check the ground soil, because maybe I can tunnel it. <laughs> if that doesn't work, it's on to the last step, step three. Step three! Highly embarrassing, it's called the beach whale method. Here's what you do. <laughs> you take your leg, and you throw it over the fence. And then you smash your balls as you roll over <laughs> and fall on the other side. It's really painful. I don't even like swimming that much, and I wish that wasn't a true story. <laughs> I hate the metaphors we use. A lot of them are stupid. Like, dude, you gotta fight fire with fire. Really? Ask a fireman what he fights. Fire with fire. <laughs> Pretty sure his answer isn't gonna be, oh, fire. <laughs> or dude, you gotta strike while the iron is hot. Actually, if you have an iron and the other person doesn't, strike whenever you want. <laughs> to iron. And my personal favorite's when you're talking to a girl, she's like, don't worry. I'm clean as a whistle. Stop talking to her. Whistles are filthy. <laughs> no one ever cleans whistles. <laughs> that joke is brought to you by... <laughs> the Stone Boners. <laughs> Speaking of the stone boners, I realized that my penis is a lot like marijuana. Girls will try it once or twice before moving on to something harder. It's a gateway penis. Dare to keep your kids off my penis. I've been trying to lose weight, and a lot of my friends are like, Greg, why even bother? And it's because I want to do things that skinny people do. Like go rock climbing, or have sex. <laughs> or have sex while rock climbing, I don't know. I've never been skinny, I don't know what you bitches do. <laughs> so when I have a girlfriend, which doesn't happen often, but it does sometimes, shut up. Uh, <laughs> A lot of my friends are like, Greg, well, what's she like? And I'm not a very descriptive person, so I have to use Star Wars terms. <laughs> I'm like, well, she's a lot like the Millennium Falcon. 
She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. <laughs> Which is hilarious. The one person who's seen the movie. <laughs> but just in case no one else reacts to that, I wrote a second part to that joke. <laughs> Here it is. What I'm trying to say is, she's fat. <laughs> or as I like to call it, friendly. And when having sex with a friendly girl, every fat guy needs to go through the same three-step process. Like step one. I check her for structural integrity. Alright guys, my name is Craig Cashman and thank you all very much.